All right, welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts Collection Overview video. And today, finally, after all this talk over the past couple months, I'm finally prepared to show my Bigfoot collection on movie, on DVD and Blu-ray and 4K. I have a couple of props there on the top shelf. And then these two shelves are full of DVDs. There's a little bit of Blu-rays down here, and then it kind of spills over to this section. There's more Blu-rays. And if you stick around until the end of this, it's going to be a pretty long video, I think. If you can stick around till the end, you can find out how to win your own Bigfoot movies for your collection. I'm going to give this pile away. So stay tuned till the end of the video to find out how you can win. This will be opened up worldwide to my subscribers. So make sure that you are subscribed if you want to win. And get yourselves comfortable. Get, get a uh, beverage and a snack. Kick your feet up. And let's talk about these Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Yeti, Yowie, Hairy Man, Skunk Ape. Let's talk about this beautiful cryptid. And let's talk about some of these movies. Okay, so I started this video two or three different times and started to record and I was getting weird reflections of light off of these movies. I started out with the flash on my phone and that was creating a lot of flash brightness off of these plastic sleeves. So then I turned the ceiling light on and the flash of my phone off and I was still getting kind of a weird reflection of light. So we're going to try it this way. It may look a little dark. I have, I have a background light on over there. And hopefully that's going to be enough. I, I don't really like that reflection of light. So we'll talk about these props at the end. I have a hair sample and a cast that was taken from the original Patterson-Gimlin film site that everybody knows about that that uh, famous Bigfoot sighting video from the 60s. And that's an actual cast from that movie, from that footprint. So the first movie here is called Abominable. And this is the one from Anchor Bay. This is the DVD that stars Lance Henriksen and Matt McCoy. This is a good one. This is one of the better ones, I think, in my opinion. And I have that one upgraded to Blu-ray, which we'll get to at the end. I'm going to start with the DVDs. I think I should mention, too, that these are alphabet alphabetized in alphabetical order for the most part. There may be one or two out of place. So uh, The next one here is also called Abominable, but this is a different Abominable. The first one, I think, came out in 88, 1988. This one, I think, came out in 2019. And this one also goes by the title of Yeti. So this is the same exact movie. The one on the left is the U.S. title. The one on the right, Yeti, is the U.K. title, and that's a U.K. DVD. So I just wanted to kind of keep those together, although they don't go together alphabetized, but it's the same movie, so I kept them together. Um, the monster in this movie looks pretty good. It's a low-budget movie. Most of these are. Um, this is a practical monster in a suit, and I thought it was pretty good. The suit looked pretty good. The next one here is a Hammer movie, a very early Hammer movie, starring Peter Cushing and Forrest Tucker called The Abominable Snowman. I thought this movie was excellent. Black and white movie from the 60s. And... It, it's very, very atmospheric, and uh, it draws you in. It's, it's very well done. I really enjoyed this movie. I also have this one upgraded to Blu-ray, which you'll see later. I recommend that one. Now, I haven't seen all of these yet, and this is one that I haven't watched yet. This one is from... Uh, is this from Wild Eye? Raw and yeah, this is from Wild Eye. See, I, I'm I'm gonna have to turn the flash back on because it's a little bit too dark to see. 
but this is called Alabama Sasquatch. And this is the unrated edition of it. It's a pretty cool cover there. Ripping apart a, it looks like a Boy Scout or a Cub Scout or something. Still have yet to watch that one. So I turned the flash back on. I'm going to just have to deal with it. The next one is called American Bigfoot. Tagline says there it's time to believe. And you can see again it's a practical monster. And this movie came out in 2017. And it looks like I skipped over American Beast. I, I jumped over that one on accident. Back on the Prowl. This movie has a 90 minute running time and it came out in 2014. Put that back there and so we had american bigfoot earlier just previous to that and now we have american sasquatch and this one has an american flag on his face i i think that's only for the cover though i haven't seen that movie either but i think they're just putting that art on the cover i don't think the monster is going to have a, an american flag painted on his face this one's from wild eye releasing and American Bigfoot was from a company called ITN. And those are the type of movies that you find at the Dollar Tree. The next one is called Animal Among Us. Ultra low budget. There's not any actors in here that I'm aware of. Any actors that I'm familiar familiar with, I should say. This is from a company called Uncorked High Octane. This is another type of movie that you'll find at the Dollar Tree. Now, some of these I kind of lumped in with the Bigfoot collection, even though they're really not exactly Bigfoot movies, but they're close enough like this one. It's called Ape. says this one's in 3D. On the Loose and Tearing Up the Town from a company called Razor Digital. Apparently you can watch this in 2D and 3D. Another Wild Eye releasing title here called Big F, unrated. Watch out, ladies. So you can tell that this is kind of a, I guess, kind of a black comedy, dark comedy. It says it's a modern day creature feature that hits all the right notes. It is the perfect mix of laughs and blood, which is the way we like it. I highly recommend this one from Horror Society, whoever they are. <clears throat> Next one, I had a lot of fun with this one. This is Bigfoot from 1970, 1970. And this one, this one desperately needs a better release because the picture quality on this one is terrible. And uh, this is kind of a, uh, this is kind of a cult classic from the 70s. Definitely a drive-in style movie. Somehow they got John Carradine to play in this movie. He had a pretty good role in the movie. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this is the only way you can get this movie. And it's from a company called Cheesy Flicks. I don't know if you can see that down there in the bottom. But this one definitely, this one definitely needs like a Blu-ray upgrade from like a Vinegar Syndrome or Scream Factory or something. The movie itself is not great, but it's a, it's a fun watch. I had a good time with it. 
And the next one's also called Bigfoot. This is a different movie, though. This is a trauma release. Bigfoot looks pretty menacing in this one. It's another practical suit, rubber suit. And um, this one's pretty good. You can see the Troma logo down there at the bottom. Here's another one called Bigfoot. This is a different movie. Check out the cast on this one. You have Danny Bonaducci from the Partridge family. You have Barry Williams from the Brady Bunch. And you have Alice Cooper. There they are. You can see Howard Hessman from WKRP in Cincinnati and other, I don't know, he was in some other stuff. He was in that uh, high school sitcom. I don't remember what that was from the 80s. I can't think of the name of it just now, but there's Coop, Alice Cooper. Always enjoyed Alice Cooper's music. And the next one here is another Wild Eye movie. This one's called Bigfoot Blood Trap. And this is one of the movies that you'll be able to win. If you stick around until the end. You can tell this one has some pretty good practical effects too for a low budget. You can see that guy is pretty mangled. Bigfoot is hungry and on the hunt for female flesh. Another wild eye, Bigfoot's Bride. A pretty good cover. I'm sure it's the case where the movie is, or the cover is better than the movie. He will kill to be loved. Uh, this one came out in 2020. Okay, so this is a little confusing too, I guess, because you have Bigfoot County on the left and Bigfoot Country on the right. Yeah, these are two completely different movies, Bigfoot County. It was a little confusing to me because when I was trying to pick up a couple of these movies, I thought it was the same movie with just a different cover. I wasn't... Uh, wasn't seeing the difference between county and country at first. It kind of blended in together. Uh, this one here on the left, Bigfoot County, this is kind of like a found footage, and the movie's made to look like a documentary. And it came out in 2012. And uh, Bigfoot Country. The legend is real. This is put up by a company called Cinedime One and One Media. And this one came out in 2018. It says the woods belong to Sasquatch. And the next one is another Wild Eye release. Didn't realize that Wild Eye had so many Bigfoot movies. This one's called Bigfoot Creek. It is still out there. And you can see that that's pretty ridiculous looking there. If I can you know, zoom in here. And um, it looks like it's really, really, really low budget. Now, for me, I don't, budget doesn't matter for me in movies. I can enjoy low budget movies very well. I, I just, you know, have to have a good storyline and good. Uh, it doesn't even have to be great acting as long as it's decent acting. Next one's called Bigfoot Grip of the Monster. This one was one of the movies that were made by, they're called the Wright family here. Let me see if I can zoom in there. That up there in the top left hand corner, the Wright family. And they're a family that make a lot of home movies like this. I haven't watched this one yet, but they seem to have kind of a religious undertone to their movies, from what I understand. I have a couple of their movies. 
And if you look at the hand here of Bigfoot, he has six fingers. Not that there's anything wrong with religious themes to a movie. I just wanted to point that out. That's, um, that's how they seem to do their movies like that. So this one is called Bigfoot Goes to Hell. And surprisingly, this one is not a wild eye movie. It's put up by a company called Monster Battles. This movie came out in 2023. This, this one's pretty ridiculous. Bigfoot versus the Illuminati. So you never really know what you're going to get when you watch a Toddy Walnuts video. I give you guys some, some rare stuff. This movie came out in 2020. The movie itself is supposed to take place in the year 2044. I guess it's kind of a sci-fi horror movie. Aliens and robots and stuff. <clears throat> this one I enjoyed. I know other people seem to uh, kind of pan this movie, I guess. But I enjoyed This is uh, Bigfoot, The Lost Co Coast Tapes. And this one kind of plays out like a lost or like a found footage documentary style movie. I thought this was pretty good. It's put up by a company called Accelerator. And this movie came out in, let's see. 2012 already. Wow. So I bought this DVD when it first came out on DVD. And then I also upgraded this one to Blu-ray. I recommend this one. Here's another wild eye called Bigfoot the Movie. Small town, big problem. And this one came out in 2015. Right there. 2015, 96 minutes running time. It looks like Wild Eye released it in 2017. <clears throat> I bought this one directly from the director of this movie. Uh, this is called Bigfoot Path of the Beast. This is also available on Blu-ray. It's put up by a guy named Justin Snyder. And if you Google this movie, if you want to purchase it directly from the director of the film, you can you can uh, just Google Justin Snyder and it'll pop up. You can buy the DVD or the Blu-ray. I believe you can also get them signed if you'd like to. And this came with that. So this was kind of a throw-in when you buy it from the director. So I put these kind of together. So when you buy this movie from him, he'll throw in this second movie, I guess, called Elusive Legend. I'm not exactly sure what that is, if it's a movie or a documentary or what, but it's the same director there, Justin Snyder. I haven't watched it yet. But it was nice that he threw in a little freebie like that. The next one here is kind of a compilation. Uh, you get to, It's called Bigfoot Terror. You get four movies together in this set. I put this in a white case because it kind of looks, I think it looks nice with that white Yeti. So the four movies that you get in this set are, let's see here, Search for the Beast from 1997, The Legend of Bigfoot from 1976, Shriek of the Mutilated from 1974, and The Capture of Bigfoot from 1979. So you get, it's a flipper disc, and you can see there, they're calling it a special two-sided DVD. We call it a flipper disc. And you get two movies per side. It's put up by a company called Retro Media. Retro Media has always been a really solid company. I, th I think their movies are, are good. Here's some more foolishness here with... Pull these both out. So you got uh, Bigfoot versus Megalodon. 
the legends are real. And you have Bigfoot versus Megalodon 2. And this is supposed to take place in the year 4045 AD. And this one came out in 2020. And this one came out in 2023. So you know it's got to be good. If it took three years to make the sequel, <laughs> it's got to be great. If anybody has seen those, comment below. Next one is called Bigfoot Wars. C. Thomas Howell is in the movie. And it came out in 2014. Let's see here. Judd Nelson is also in here. And that young lady there. Let's see if I can get a better. She looked familiar to me. I, I didn't recognize her name from the cast down below. But um, I, I couldn't think of her name. Maybe it's not her. I think she played it. The one I'm thinking of played in Baywatch. Uh, where did I leave off? Okay, the next one's called Bigfoot versus Zombies. Look at that. That's pretty bad. This is from Wild Eye. Came out in 2016. It's. It looks pretty bad, but I'm sure there's some pretty funny moments in here. You can have fun with movies like this. You don't have to always take everything serious. Okay, next one is called Big Legend. That monster looks terrifying, and I think that looks great. That's not what I think of. When I think of Bigfoot or Sasquatch, I have kind of this image here, right? That looks terrifying. It almost looks like a swamp thing or something. I like it. I like the way it looks. This one looks like it's promising. It's unrated. In 2018. I have to pop this one in and watch it yet. I think that one's probably going to be pretty good. Or it looks like it's going to be good. Next one is called Blackwater Creek, Legend of Sasquatch. It says some legends are best left alone. And this one came out in 2014. Now here's another one that I just kind of threw in, although it's probably not exactly a Bigfoot movie, but it's close enough that I wanted to include it. This one's called Blood Monkey. And uh, F. Murray Abraham is in here, and he's always excellent. It says, Experience the Dark Side of Nature. This movie came out in 2007. In the jungle, no one can hear you scream. I like that. Here is Boggy Creek 2. From Elite Entertainment. I think this one's a little harder to find these days. You can find it, but it's pretty pricey. It's a movie from 1985. It's a, it's a rated PG horror movie. So the, the guy who did the original Boggy Creek, his name was Charles B. Pierce. And uh, he actually starred in this one. He, he wrote, produced, and directed this one as well. I believe he had a role in here as, a, as an actor. And these Boggy Creek movies are pretty good. I enjoy these. 
And then here's a, a boggy creek that came out years later. And I think this only shares the name. It doesn't really, it's not it's a part of the franchise. This one's called Boggy Creek. The legend is true. It's kind of an unofficial sequel, I guess. This one came out in 2010. I also have this one on Blu-ray, which uh, it's a little, a little harder to find this one on Blu-ray for some reason. This one's called the Boggy Creek Legacy Collection. So you get three movies in this set. It's a triple feature. So you get, let's see here, you get Bigfoot the Mysterious Monster, you get Sasquatch, and you get the Snow Beast. Three movies. I believe it's on one disc, and it came out in 2014. So we got a couple more of these multi packs. So the one on the left here is uh, Three Tales of Redneck Terror called Box of Bigfoot Hillbillies versus Sasquatch. And then you have a triple feature bo Big Box of Bigfoot 2 Sasquatch Attack. So for the, the first one, you get the Barbaric Beast of Boggy Creek, the Capture of Bigfoot, and the Legend of Bigfoot. And this set came out in 2012. All these movies are in full screen. And for Box of Bigfoot 2, you get Snow Beast. And you get the Curse of Bigfoot and Beauties and the Beast. And this set was released in 2014. The next one up is called Brutal Bigfoot. Pray you don't find him. This one came out in 2018. So this guy here, his name is Tom Biscardi. I think he's a Bigfoot researcher. And I think he's pretty known in that circle of people. And I think this may be kind of a documentary from him about his adventures out in the uh, wilderness looking for Bigfoot. I haven't popped this one in yet. This one I had a good time with. This one's called Claude, The Legend of Sasquatch. Grizzly, Dark and Evil. This one came out in 2005. I had this DVD for a long, long time. Now here is one. I also had this one for a very long time. This one's called Creature from Black Lake. And uh, the, the video quality on this one is pretty bad. But they have since released this on... Blu-ray, which we'll get to later, the Blu-ray is really, really good. This is another one I would recommend if you can get this on, on Blu-ray. It comes with a nice slipcover. I'll show you that edition later down the road here. But definitely, if you do want that movie, get the Blu-ray upgrade. Next one here is from the Film Detective. A restored classic called Curse of Bigfoot. Check this out. Look at how ridiculous that looks. It's a lost horror epic from the 50s. And it's from the same producers from Plan 9 from Outer Space. Look at how ridiculous that looks. 
It says here on the back, 1975. Let's see here. Hold on. I'm going to read this. I thought this was a movie from the 60s or 50s. It says, if this doesn't look exactly like a 1970s movie, that's because producer-director Dave Flocker shot most of it in 1958 as Teenagers Battle the Thing. Bigfoot enthusiasts might be appalled, but lovers of schlock might find this feature to be just what they need. So it sounds like he shot a lot of footage for this movie in 1958, and maybe they finished it in 70. I don't know. I'm a little bit unclear about that. I have to do more, a little more research. But here's the same exact movie. Is it the same movie? Hold on a second. Let me not get ahead of myself here. Yes, this is the same movie. I'm going to pull this one back out so we can kind of take a look. It's just a different edition. This one's more made to look kind of like a VHS rental. This was put up by Alpha Video, retrograde. Looks like an old VHS box. Get it at oldies.com. So these two movies are indeed the very same movie. Okay, so moving along. This one. We're into the D's now. This one's called Dawn of the Beast. I believe this is another one that you could win. Let me see here really quick. Uh, no, not this one. Anyway, this one's called Dawn of the Beast. And it it looks pretty cool. That monster looks awesome. It's as creepy as hell up in the top left-hand corner there. So this movie came out in 2021. This one's kind of hard to find. I had to import this one from Germany. It's called Demon Warp. I thought the cover was pretty nice. George Kennedy there in the middle with the big axe. I believe in this movie, I, I watched it, but it's been a while. I think they kind of elude to the fact that Bigfoot comes from outer space. Something like that. He comes down through on a UFO or something like that. You can see some of the, some of the practical effects look pretty good. That's a German import, but it's an English language. Next one's called Devil's Pass. I enjoyed this one, too. This is from IFC Midnight, I believe. Let me see. No, it's, it is. It is from IFC Midnight. So this is kind of a different take on the Dyatlov Pass massacre from 1959. They, instead of being an avalanche that kills all these hikers and scientists, um, they make it look like it's a monster Sasquatch that lives up in the mountains. They picked apart the scientists. I thought this one was pretty good. It's pretty, uh, pretty violent. It's called Exists. The legend is real, so is the terror. It says at the top, it's from the director of the Blair Witch Project. I don't know if this one has a Blu-ray release. If it does, I would, I would upgrade it at some point, and I, I would recommend this to you. And if you can find it on Blu-ray, obviously take it that way. Um, this is from 2014. It exists. And this is one of the newest releases I have in my collection. I believe this one does have a Blu-ray release, but I have it on DVD. It's called Feed the Gods. Put up by MVD Visual. 
and the movie came out in 2014. Is that what it says? I believe that's what it says there. 2014, but then it says 2021 there as well. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe that's when MVD Visual released it in 2021. Next one is called Half Human. Had this movie for a long, long time. This is a movie from 2015. I like that image, that silhouette of Bigfoot there in the ridge. I think that looks really cool. I just, I like that pose. For whatever reason, it just looks awesome. This movie came out in 2016. The Pilliga Yowie. So this is the Australian version of Bigfoot. They call it Yowie down under. Um, this is a two-pack here of two other movies that are also called Half Human. And the one on the left here is a U.S. release of the movie. And then there's a Japanese cut of it. Now, these are all three different movies. This one was more modern, the one on the left. And then these two, I believe, are black and white. So let me see here. I get to the bottom. I, I knew what it was. I can't remember. So the, the U.S. release of this movie, Half Human, is from the 1950s, I believe. And it's the U.S. version is 63 minutes black and white. The Japanese version was 94 minutes. So the U.S. version was cut by over 30 minutes. And for the U.S. distribution of this movie, Toho allowed the film to be re-edited, cutting out the original dialogue and turning it into a flashback of events told by John Carradine. So these all three movies are, all three of these movies are different. And they're all called Half Human. And the last movie on shelf one, what a long shelf, man, is called Hunting Grounds. This kind of reminded me of this cover. So Hunting Grounds is the one we're on now. And Dawn of the Beast we talked about earlier. It just uh, has a very, very similar cover. So Hunting Grounds came out in 2015. It also includes a documentary called Shadows of the Forest as a bonus feature. So when did this one come out? They're both from Uncorked. So I wonder if they just borrowed from their own movie, their own cover like that. This one came out in 2015 on the left. And then six years later, in 2021, this movie came out. It looks like they, they weren't very shy in borrowing from their previous art. So that will conclude shelf one. I'm going to get a drink here of water and we'll get into shelf two. Okay, so on to shelf two, where we will conclude the DVDs and we'll get into the start of the Blu-rays and then we'll come over here and we'll finish up the video. And then I'll talk about the, the contest if you're interested in winning a handful of Bigfoot movies. So the first one here. It's called Hunting the Legend. This one comes with the slipcover. RLJ Entertainment and the movie came out in 2014. This one is from Vinegar Syndrome. This is a DVD I bought years and years ago. It has two movies on one. On one disc here, it's like a little twin bill. You have In Search of Bigfoot and Cry Wilderness.
that Bigfoot kind of looks like Franco Harris a little bit. So In Search of Bigfoot is a documentary from 1975 and Cry Wilderness is I think it's kind of a family movie about a boy who befriends Sasquatch and that came out in 1986. Here's another versus movie. You got Krampus versus Bigfoot. All these versus movies, they're put out by a company called Ruthless Studios. Don't know much about that company at all. The next one is called The Legend of Bigfoot. It says it's the never-before-seen motion picture footage of the giant from the north. Came out in 1976. It's another one of the kind of a documentary style movie. Next one's called The Legend of Boggy Creek. Oops. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. So this is uh, The Legend of Boggy Creek, directed by Charles B. Pierce. And this movie is pretty good. I, I enjoy this movie quite a bit. Um, I think I had mentioned before in one of my previous videos that this particular edition of the movie is pretty poor. It has very low, low very low grade um, audio and visual but there's a blu-ray a 4k and a blu-ray release of this movie and they look really really good they cleaned up nice this is definitely one i would grab for you guys that don't have it yet pick that one up and check it out it's a good one the next one here is called legend has it from the producer who brought you green river killer and zodiac killer A horrific thrill ride from start to finish. Came out in 2013. This here's one. This is kind of a crazy one. This was called The Legend of Sand Squatch. So it's kind of a, a monster who lives out in the desert. It's got a a victim in his hand. Be careful what you look for. You might it might find you. 2010 this one came out looks like it has uh, pretty gory effects to it so these next two are the same exact movie the one on the right is a old snapper case a movie called man beast the uh, sasquatch lives up in the himalaya mountains and then here is the sci-fi classics dvd of it same exact movie, just two different covers. 1956, black and white. Same movie. And now we're up to... Man versus Bigfoot. So you'll see here that there was a quote that says a masterpiece at Bob Gimlin. He was Bob Gimlin was one of the original, I don't know if you want to call them hoaxers or whatever, that uh, filmed the so called female Bigfoot walking. You, everybody has seen that old footage probably a million times by now, but Bob Gimlin was one of the guys who um, who was part of that. And then this is the actual cast. Um, what do you call it? There, it's the um, the casting when they pour the the. Uh, I, I don't know why I can't think of the word for it. They pour the cast and then it dries and then you get that image. So this is taken from that same mold. 
And I guess we'll talk about that a little bit more later. But uh, Bob Gimlin was calling this a masterpiece. I believe he's still with us too, and he's pretty old. He's got to be in his probably his 90s by now. I know Patterson died years ago. This movie here kind of blew me away. I was not expecting much. And if you read the title of this, it almost seems like it's completely ridiculous. It's called The Man Who Killed Hitler and Then the Bigfoot, starring Sam Elliott. This movie was excellent. I thought this movie was really, really well done. I also have this on Blu-ray. The I'm not going to give much of it away. It's kind of a psychological horror. I have my own take on this movie, and I would love to talk about it, but I don't want to say anything and ruin the movie for you. But the, the scene where... Hitler gets killed is freaking amazing. I loved it. I, I was watching this movie by myself when I jumped up and said, yes, it was really good. And the way that Bigfoot gets killed, it's, it's pretty sad. I'll just leave it at that because if I say any more about it, I might start ruining it for you guys. I would definitely recommend checking that out. Re and Sam Elliott is, is gold. Everything he does is great, but you hang on every word he says in this movie. He's just excellent. Um, I don't know why this this shouldn't be in here. Hold on, that was a Scarecrow movie. Um, the next one here is called Monstrous. I would say if you take anything away from this video as far as a recommendation, grab this one first. I mean, get a handful, get a dozen of these, whatever you want to do, but check this one out. Do Definitely do get this one and watch it. By the time you see it, you're already dead. This one came out in 2019. Here's another Wild Eye movie called Mountain Devil. Based on true events. Giant Walks Among Us. This one came out in 2016. This one looks really good. I haven't watched this one yet either, but this one looks really promising to me. It's called Myth, Bigfoot Hunters. The Forest Speaks Back. Put up by a company called Green Apple Entertainment. And not to be confused with John Lennon's label, Green Apple. Or the Green Apple label that the Beatles used to have. This is a 60-minute movie. It says, a band of park rangers in search of two missing people in the forest discover they are not alone when faced against Sasquatch. Here's another one that's not exactly... A Bigfoot movie, but I threw it in with the Bigfoot stuff. This is called Night of the Bloody Apes. This one also has a secondary movie that has nothing at all to do with Bigfoot called Feast of Flesh. This was a twin billing from something weird. And you can see there, that's what the, the blood beasts look like. It's not really a Bigfoot movie, but I, I threw it in with my Bigfoot stuff. Next one is called Night Claws. Starring Stallone. Not Sly Stallone, but his brother Frank Stallone. Let's see here. Um, this one came out in 2012. Midnight Releasing. This movie was absolutely ridiculous. I, I enjoyed it, though. It's called Night of the Demon. And it has that infamous wiener pulling scene. This is a Code Red DVD. I've had this movie for many, many years. 1980, I believe this came out, right? 1984. 1984. 
says the movie was banned in the UK and labeled as a video nasty. Here's another movie that doesn't exactly qualify as a Bigfoot or Sasquatch movie, but it was close enough that I included it. It's called Primal Rage, Killer Chimps. This movie's pretty gruesome. It's pretty good. Another Code Red DVD. I have a movie here called Primal Rage. It says 100% Sasquatch Savagery. Atmospheric Intense. And this one has a pretty cool looking monster here. Check that out. See if I can get in real good here for you. This one came out in 2018. Next one's called The Rise of the Beast. This one looks more like a gorilla. The Beast Lives. Saying it has nonstop action. Movie came out in 2022, uncorked. See, uncorked. I'm going to have to bring this back up here for a second again. They really love. They really, really, this is all uncorked. They love that image there on the cover. I didn't realize that until just now. But they really, really love that image. I mean, it looks cool. I give them that. But come up with a variation, man. Bro, you don't have to have the same exact monster on the cover of all your Bigfoot movies. Next one's called Sasquatch. Another Lance Henriksen movie. He's always good in his movies. And again, it says it's based on true events. But Lance, Lance Henriksen is a, a true gift for B-movie actors. And we have another multi-pack here. This one's called Sasquatch Horror Triple Feature. You get Sasquatch, The Legend of Bigfoot, Snow Creature, and Snow Beast. Put up by Image Entertainment. Sasquatch, The Legend of Bigfoot came out in 1977. Snow Beast, also 1977, and Snow Creature, 1954. Next one's called Sasquatch Mountain. I put that in a white case. This also has Lance Henriksen in it. There you see Lance. Lance doesn't turn many rolls down now, so. 2007 for that one. This one's called Savage. Now this one's a little pricey now, these days. It's a little bit uh, harder to find this one, and when you do find it, you're probably going to end up paying around 40 for this. A lot of these movies, up, these were probably like anywhere from 10, 15, in that ballpark. Some of them are a little bit harder to find now, like this one. Twenty eleven, this one came out. This one's called Sh Shriek of the Sasquatch. Put up by Retro Media again. And let's see here if we can find a year. Um, not seeing it. It says it's from the groovy 70s, but I'm not seeing an exact year. Up here at the top, it says it's a delirious acid flashback to the groovy 70s. So it doesn't necessarily mean, oh, it says, yeah, it does. It says Bigfoot Terror in 1979. Now, is that when the movie was supposed to take place, or is that when it was filmed? I'm not sure. It almost sounds to me like they're saying it was filmed to look like it was a flashback movie. So, I don't know. Next one's called The Sighting. 
Some things are better left unseen. Level 33, unrated. 2016. This one's called Snow Beast. This is a UK release. This one stars John Schneider, who was Bo Duke on the Dukes of Hazard. And this one came out in 2011. 2011. Now these next two are the same exact movie. The one here on the right is the one that I, I've owned this one already. And the one on the left I recently picked up. It's the same movie, just has a different cover, and I like the cover better on the left. This is another alpha video from oldies.com again. But I, I just think it looks a lot better. So the package design for this one just came out last year in 2023. But the movie itself came out in 1954, black and white. It looks like there's a color still right there. But here at the bottom it says black and white 1954. Well, they, actually, these are both oldies.com. This package design was from 2002. So this is 21 years. This one's 21 years older than the one on the left, which just came out last year. All right. Here's another one from that religious family that I told you about earlier. I believe this is. Maybe not called Something in the Woods. Looks like another kind of a creepy looking swamp thing type monster. And this one came out in 2015. says it's an independent feature film inspired by true events. The story follows the Hartman family and their dealings with a legendary creature in the woods behind their farm, farmhouse in the 1960s. This is Suburban Sasquatch. I have this one on Blu-ray. This is kind of a comedy horror. This DVD is a little harder to find these days, but the Blu-ray is so much nicer. I'll show you that here in a little bit. If you're going to get this movie, get the Blu-ray. But if you do get this DVD, you can get it directly from the director of the movie. And his company is called Troubled Moon Films. And you can go to troubledmoonfilms.com. That's where I bought this years ago. And the guy who directed the movie is called Dave Waskavage. Or Waskavage. I'm not sure how to pronounce that exactly. This one is called Takuhi. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a, a Bigfoot movie take on the ancient Native Americans. The Na ancient Native Americans had a lot of stories about the Sasquatch. And this is kind of a take on that. Uh, this one was kind of new to my collection. I got this a couple months ago. This one's called El Terrible, El Terrible Gigante de las Nieves. And that translates to the Terrible Giant of the Snow. It's a Mexican black and white movie from 1962 about Bigfoot, Sasquatch. And the next one here is called Territorial Behavior. This is another Aussie film, Australian. I believe this is Australian. It's from MVD Visual. Shows all the promise of being one of the greatest found footage films of the modern age.
Here's a, another one I have, a Blu-ray upgrade. This was a good movie. I really enjoyed this one. It's called Throwback. The Evolution of Terror is here. And I believe this one is also Australian. Let me double check. I watched a lot of these, and I, they kind of blended together. This one's also put out by MVD Visual. Yeah, this is um, Encounter Australia's Mythical Yowie, a giant ape-like killing machine. It starts all kind of slow, but it was pretty good. This is a UK release of a movie called Valley of the Sasquatch. Instead of dealing with just one Bigfoot, they're dealing with families or packs of these Bigfoot, Big Feet, Bigfoots. This was put out by 101 Films in the UK. I'm not sure if that has a Blu-ray upgrade or not. This one's pretty new to my collection. I haven't even watched it yet, but uh, people have commented in my videos and said that this is a, a must-watch. This is called The Wild Man of the Navidad. And it was from the original producer of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I think when I showed this a couple videos ago, I said it was from the producer of the 2003 TCM. But it's actually Kim Henkel, who was the producer of the original TCM 1974. So I'm looking forward to this. And apparently, Kim Henkel has quite a collection of memorabilia from the first TCM that they actually use some of it in this movie. Uh, this is the unrated director's cut. I think I said that already. Based on true events, it's a creepy southern fried creature feature with a slasher movie twist. I'm looking forward to checking this one out from 2007. And two more DVDs. This one's called Yeti. This one comes with a pretty rare slipcover from the Man Eater series. It's pretty hard to find this slipcover. And if you do find it, it's pretty expensive for some reason. I don't know. I bought this, I think, at a Walmart years ago, probably for like 10 bucks. But I think this is going for like around 50 or 60 bucks with the slipcover if you can find it on eBay. Um, it's unrated. And it came out in 2007. I like the movies that take place in the snowy mountains, snowy setting like that. So that is Yeti. And then there's another movie called Yeti, but it's completely different than that movie. This movie was pretty ridiculous. I watched this not too long ago, probably about three, four weeks ago. Yeti, giant of the 20th century. And in this movie, they make the Yeti to be huge, almost like, uh, like King Kong. I think they try to make a King Kong movie out of a Bigfoot character. And this... Yeti falls in love with a, she's a beautiful girl in the movie. She looks really young, though. She looks like she's 15, 17, maybe. And he falls in love with her, and and he, I'm not going to get in, give it away or get into the, all the details about it. It was okay. Uh, would I watch it again? Probably not anytime soon, but... So it, the movie starts out where this guy is kind of like in a permafrost and they find him like in a block of glacier and they thaw him out. And when he comes alive, he's not very happy. He's a little angry and uh, he goes on a rampage. The only thing that really calms him, him down is that beautiful girl, the teenage girl. And oh, no, it's pretty, pretty lame. I think it's OK. So that was the end of the DVDs. Now we're going to get into the Blu-rays here. we got a little stack of these. Some of these are just upgrades. This is Abominable. This is the movie that I showed earlier with Matt McCoy and Lance Henriksen. So there's the DVD of that. Uh, I, I enjoyed this movie. I think it's pretty good. It's uh, from MVD, and it comes with this slipcover. There's Lance. This was a pretty good movie. And then we have the Blu-ray of The Abominable Snowman. Starring Peter Cushing. This is an excellent movie. If you take anything away from this video, this is another one that you must watch, I think. 
I really recommend this one. As well as The Man Who Killed Bigfoot. Check both of these out. I think those are probably two of the better ones that I've seen recently. This is a Scream Factory Blu-ray release here. You could probably get this pretty cheap. I don't think it sold out or anything like that. Here's an upgrade from the Bigfoot movie that I have. Uh, let's see. Right here. This is the one that stars Danny Bonaducci, Barry Williams, Alice Cooper. So that's that. I don't really have to say much more about that. We already saw it. And then I have the <clears throat> Bigfoot Lost Coast tapes, which I showed earlier. The VHS, I'm sorry, the DVD comes with a slipcover, but the Blu-ray did not. So this is another one I recommend. This one, unfortunately, I couldn't watch because it was a 3D Blu-ray, and I don't, I'm not hooked up for 3D on my TV, nor will I ever be. I'm not interested in that. Um, I don't mind a 3D movie here and there if you can get one with the glasses or whatever, but this one is specifically made for TVs that were geared to be 3D, which I don't even think they make 3D TVs anymore. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not even interested in that. So here's Boggy Creek 2. This is the Blu-ray of that. And hold on a second. This is the Blu-ray upgrade. This is from Vinegar Syndrome. This looks beautiful on Blu-ray. It looks really, really good. It comes in this hard shell slip box. It was limited to 4,000. I know it's sold out now. I got number 2831. You can get this on eBay for a pretty hefty price. But if you can get this one, do grab it. It's a it's a good movie. I enjoyed it. And then I also got Upgraded Boggy Creek. Now for some reason this Blu-ray is pretty expensive. It's around 40 bucks, and which is way too much for a low budget movie like this. The DVD is under $10, which I put that white case in there. It looks pretty nice, I think. Um, the movie's okay, but it's not its not really worth like 40 or more. If you can get it for 20-ish, I would say grab it. But uh, yeah, don't go out of here. Don't, don't break your bank for that. Um, Creature from Black Lake. Where is that? I'll have that here. So this is one I was talking about earlier. So this particular DVD, the, the audio and visual quality is pretty low. It's pretty poor. Um, but this Blu-ray release is beautiful. It looks really, really good. I enjoyed the movie quite a bit. This is another good one. I would recommend this one quite a bit. This is from Synapse Films. And I'm sure most of you guys have that already. If you don't pick it up, you won't be disappointed. It's a fun watch if you like creature feature movies. This one was pretty bad. Uh, I don't know if I would watch it anytime soon. It's called Cherokee Creek. It says at the top one of the or one of my favorite Bigfoot films ever, but to me it wasn't that good. Maybe you'll like it. They try to make it too silly. I do love the movies that Scream Team release and puts out, so it kind of hurts me to to say that this one sucks. But uh, I I didn't care much for that one. This one was pretty good. It's called Hoax. You can get it on Blu-ray. That's what this is here. I I would recommend this one too. It's pretty good. Only thing is, for me, there's there's a scene in here where they rip a dog in half, and I have a hard time with that. I, I don't mind seeing a man get ripped limb from limb, but when it comes to a dog, I don't want to see a dog get hurt. And I know it's not real. It's all practical effects and, you know. But, I mean, even the whimpering and the screaming of the dog and to see what happens when he rips the dog in half, it just... It, it was not good. I didn't I didn't like that. So Rosa Studios SRS Cinema, we have House Squatch. Shot on video practical effects with the uh, rubber suits. This one here is it's a twin billing. It's called God Monster of Indian Flats, which has nothing to do with Bigfoots, but there's a second feature called the Legend of Bigfoot. 
1973. And this was put up by Something Weird Video in conjunction with um, AGFA, which stands for American Genre Film uh, Archive, I think. Is it? I could be wrong about that. Here's another one. This is The Legend of Boggy Creek, another Charles B. Pierce movie. And this is really good. This is a beautiful release. This is 4K. You can buy this directly from his daughter, and she will send you, if you go to legendofboggycreek.com, you can buy this on 4K or Blu-ray. Actually, I think the 4K is sold out. You can still get this on Blu-ray, and then she'll give you a little signature, or a, like a little autograph card that goes inside of this that I put inside of my uh, case in here. And I forget her name, but she was in both of the movies. She was just a child. So she never, you know, grew up to be a, an actress or anything. But uh, it's kind of cool to get that movie directly from, from his daughter. And I have, uh, this is like the fourth time I've been telling you guys about this movie. But So I have the, the DVD with the slipcover and the Blu-ray with the slipcover. This is a really cool movie. And uh, I would love to discuss this movie with somebody who has seen it already. I'd like to hear their take, what they thought about this movie and why this turned out, why this story turned out like it did. I, I have a theory, but I don't want to say anything. Uh, definitely check this movie out. If you love Sam Elliott, and I don't, I don't think I've ever heard anybody ever say anything bad about Sam Elliott, uh, he, he is gold in this movie. He carries this movie completely from beginning to end. Uh, and he's aged quite a bit, and he plays that age. You know, he plays it as an aged character. He knows that he's an aged character. Um, yeah, I have a theory, but I don't want to say anything, so I'm going to leave it be. But So we're going to go over here now to this last little stack. And here's a... Hold on, I'm going to see if I can pull these out like this. Um, so I just recently upgraded this. I have the Something Weird video DVD, and then I upgraded to the Blu-ray of this movie. And again, it's not exactly a Bigfoot or Sasquatch movie, but it's half man, half beast. I threw it in here. This is from VCI. I think it's a, it's a cool movie, and I, I really like this edition here with the slipcover, so I grabbed it. And let's see, Night of the Demon. Um... So this movie on the left we talked about earlier, that's a Code Red DVD release. And then Severin released this one a couple years ago on Blu-ray with the slipcover, Night of the Demon. It's the exact same movie. It's a pretty fun watch. It's not a great movie by any stretch, but it's, a, it's still a fun watch, and I enjoy it. The next one here is another horror double feature. This is also put up by Code Red. And you get Sasquatch in this uh, twin pack. And then there's also a pretty cool um, kind of like a uh, anthology movie. It has nothing to do with Bigfoot, but it's a cool movie uh, narrated by Rob Rod Serling from Twilight Zone called Encounter with the Unknown. This is a cool little set. I recommend this one. And another Code Red Blu-ray. This is Screams of a Winter Night. This is one that you'll be able to win. Uh, this is another horror anthology, and it has, I think there's like uh, three or four, maybe even four or five different stories that these people tell uh, when they get kind of trapped in this uh, cabin in the woods. And uh, one of the stories is a, is a Bigfoot story. It's pretty good. I, I enjoy this. This is a pretty fun little watch. Good anthology. And this is one is from SRS Studios. Um, this is pretty ridiculous. It's a horror comedy. It's basically a comedy horror, more comedy than horror. I have this on VHS too, but this is um, Sex Squatch, Return to Bloodstool Creek. You get a double feature of Sex Squatch and Sex Squatch 2. Pretty ridiculous. But I wanted to add it. Here's another one that probably doesn't fit with a Bigfoot collection, but it's close enough that I threw it in. This is another Code Red DVD Blu-ray called Shackma, 
has uh, Roddy McDowell in it. And uh, Amanda Weiss, you remember her from uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street. She played Tina. She's in the movie. There's Tina right there. And Roddy McDowell. Um, this movie is pretty good. I, I like this movie, but it, like I said, it's not at all a Bigfoot movie, but it's close enough I wanted to throw it in. And the next one up is a Vinegar Syndrome release. The movie's not bad. It's a little bit better than Middle of the Road. To me, this one has a, um, a pretty brutal... Let's say, I, I got to be careful how I say this. There's a scene where Bigfoot is making friends with a female. Kind of forcefully. He's forceful, forcefully becoming a friend to her, but she doesn't really want to be his friend. But he wants to be her friend. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? And the next one here is called Snow Beast. This was, I think this was a made-for-TV movie from the 70s, 1977. This was put up by Retro Media, Blu-rays All Region. And um, for whatever reason, this one was very limited and, and uh, a limited run when it was released. This one's very, very expensive now. I think I paid this 20 bucks for this when it first came out, and I bought it on Amazon. But if you try to find this now, I think it's like 50 or more, probably more. But this has two cuts of the film, though. You get, let me see here, uh, the CBS late movie version ran for 72 minutes. Let me see if I can get in so you guys can read along with me here. So this was a CBS late movie from 1977. And then the full frame restored syndicated version ran for 88 minutes. So that's pretty significant. That's 16 minutes that were added to the movie. I thought it was pretty good, too, and it, it does have a good atmosphere. And this is another one that takes place in the Snowy Mountains. Um, it's at a ski resort, to be exact. A mountaintop hideaway, they call it. It was pretty good, though. I like that movie. It was PG, but it was still pretty good. The next one here is another upgrade. So we already talked about the DVD here on the left. And again, if you want to... Buy the DVD directly from the director of the movie. Go to troubledmoonfilms.com and you'll be dealing with Dave Waskavage or Cavage. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But here's the Blu ray that was released a couple of years ago, a couple of, I think about a year or two ago, from Visual Vengeance and Wild Eye. Uh, the movie came out in 2004, but this was released in 2002. Also has the Rift Tracks. That's included on this set here. If you're going to buy this movie, which I would recommend you to do so, just for how, how ridiculous it is, it's a very fun movie, though. You get a lot of cool stuff with this. This is a pretty cool addition. And you get a nice slipcover, too. I, th I say either way you go, it's pretty cool, because you can buy it directly from the director on the left, or you can get some bonus materials with your Blu-ray on the right. Here is Throwback. So we already talked about the DVD, and this is basically just an upgrade. I ordered this from the UK. I don't think this has a Blu-ray release in the US, but I picked up the Blu-ray from the UK. And this was put up by a company called Monster Pictures. Is that what that says? What does that say there? Hold on. I think that says Monster Pictures. My eyes are not like they used to be at all. But uh, this is the, it's an Australian, it's an Outback type movie with Bigfoot. Uh, I recommend it. I liked it. You may not, but uh, I just recommend the ones that I like to you guys. And this is a case, another case of a movie that maybe probably doesn't qualify as a Bigfoot or Sasquatch movie, but it's close enough to me. This is Trog, little hairy man, a missing link they're calling him in this movie. It's close enough to me that it's it can be added to the collection. So it's put out by Scream Factory, and the movie itself came out in 1970. Stars Joan Crawford.
Here's another movie I quite liked. It's a found footage type documentary style movie called Willow Creek. It's um, written and directed by Bobcat Goldthwaite. <laughs> what? Roller coasters. Well, that's my that's the closest I'm going to get to Bobcat Goldthwait. Um, but this movie was actually my dogs are looking at me like I'm crazy, <laughs> and I am a little crazy. I don't know. I hate roller coasters. From <laughs> uh, this is a long video, man. You guys probably aren't even watching anymore, so it doesn't matter. But this was a really good movie. I know it has a, a, a DVD release too, but I never owned this on DVD. And I recently, within the last, I'll say like within the last two years, I bought this on Blu-ray and I, I watched it. It was, it was really good. And it came out in, it's from Dark Sky Films, came out in 2014. So I would recommend that one too. That's a good one. And the last one, and maybe the least, I don't know. I... I didn't hate the movie, but I didn't love it. That's for sure. This is Yeti, and we talked about the DVD earlier. This is just the Blu-ray release of it. This was put up by Code Red, I believe. Code Red and Dark Force. Uh, the I, I will say, though, that for being an older movie, it really cleaned up and it looks good on Blu-ray. I think I would say this. It's worth. It's definitely worth one at least one watch just just to watch it and see it it's pretty good if you like monster movies it uh it almost has a feel of like a universal monster movie it's uh they're, they're trying hard to make this be a king kong movie with a yeti and they they succeed in in doing that i guess um it's there's some pretty ridiculous scenes in the movie of course but um i say all in all it's it's definitely worth at least one viewing so i'm going to end the video here um i'm going to quickly i'm going to pause it here for a minute get something to drink we're going to end this video but i'm going to tell you guys how you can win these these movies okay guys these are the six movies you can win and it's it's going to be very simple it's uh, open worldwide you have to be a subscriber and you have to comment in this video hashtag bigfoot and answer do you believe in bigfoot yes or no and if you say yes Give us a brief little, it doesn't have to be a huge story, but just tell us why you believe in it. That's one way to enter. Two is to let me know down below in the comments. You have to say hashtag Bigfoot. And what are your favorite Bigfoot movies? It could be one or it can be 10, whatever you want to tell us in the comments section. And three, if you want to make a video and show your Bigfoot collection, you could be entered to, to win, but you still have to comment in this video, hashtag Bigfoot in order to get entered into the contest because what I'm going to do, I'm going to get everybody's name and it's, there's a very good chance that police, there's a very good chance that not very many people are going to enter the contest. So there's probably only going to be a few. If you want to leave a, a video, you know, with, um, up, upload a video with your favorite Bigfoot movies, make sure you put hashtag Bigfoot down below because I'm going to put all those, Hashtag Bigfoot. I'm going to put all those names in a randomizer to uh, to pull the winner. And I'll make a video about that so you guys can actually see who wins. But these are the movies. You get Bigfoot Blood Trap Unrated. You get uh, Bigfoot The Lost Coast Tapes on DVD. You get Abominable on DVD. Screams of a Winter Night on Blu-ray. The Man Who Killed Hitler and Then the Bigfoot on DVD and Hunting Grounds on DVD. So there you guys have it. Um, I do have the, the mold up here like I showed you from the Patterson Gimlin film site. This is the COA that comes with it. They just talk about, uh, I mean, this thing has been recast and recast and recast for decades now. So, but it's still cool to have that. And then I also have a Bigfoot for sample from 1971 and of course that's only a real bigfoot fur sample if you believe in bigfoot otherwise it's just a little gag um, little trinket for a collection so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video i wasn't sure how i was gonna film this if i was gonna 
lay these all out on the bed. I don't know how it, how it would have been better doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it this way. I guess, you know, when there's this many movies, it's probably better to do it shelf by shelf. So, um, yeah, make sure that you put hashtag Bigfoot and answer some of those questions. I'd like to send these movies out to you. So thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bonus footage. I just want to prove to everybody that I am not Bigfoot. Here's Hannah wants to come and see. I have a size 12 shoe, and I'm going to prove once and for all that I am not Bigfoot. So I'm putting my foot all the way to the bottom, and it comes up way short. So I am not Bigfoot. Thank you for watching.